Guys, welcome to the border of our 52nd country. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. This is such a huge bucket list item that we're about to see. It's the best thing ever. Everybody, welcome back to Ljubljana. <laughs> you look so extra. Wait, I have to show you guys what Steven is currently vlogging on. We got a new toy that we're testing out for like a review for you guys. <laughs> guys, we got a what is it called? Like a a stabilizer. stabilizer. Look at this bad boy. So when you're watching this video, there will already be a video out from today of us testing this out. Okay, no, now you look extra. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so today we are finally going to see Ljubljana because we've been here for two days and we have yet to barely explore this city yet. So we're currently in a park right in front of our hotel and we're going to go down to the water I think first. But the buildings here are so beautiful. Yeah, look at this guys. That's just... I mean, what is that? Like another palace? Why aren't we staying in the palace, guys? <laughs> to go for a bit of an explore. That's where we had like our coffee the other day. It's quite beautiful having this little moat around the castle and we do have plans to hike up to the castle. But I did have pancakes for breakfast, so I don't know how well that is going to sit on this hike. It don't really matter what you say. Okay, we just spent the last two hours filming that video. It was super fun. I hope you guys did check it out. What it was on Wednesday? It came out the before last this vlog, vlog. It is freezing. This today. is the coldest it's ever been. So before we go exploring, we need to just defrost, get a coffee in us. So come up to Le Petit Cafe, I think it is. Is it a Le Petit? Oh, it is very cute. It's pretty small. Oh wow, it opens up into here. This is super cute. Guys, we're just looking at the menu and we're thinking of coming back here for lunch. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my fingers are defrosting. I can't believe how cold it is today. Uh-huh. But just look at this restaurant. Like, it's really cool. Look at the roof. It like looks like it's falling to pieces. But look at this character. Ooh, I just want to hold my coffee to warm up my fingers. It's a good coffee. Yeah? Yes. Guys, I think I'm loving the Polaroid. It was a good little present. We have such a collection going now. Oh yeah, we'll have to show you on the very last day. Yeah. Yeah. We're coming back for lunch. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Do you know what I want to do? Let's climb a castle. Let's climb a castle. When we say climb... It's a 15 minute stroll. It's a 15 minute stroll. Slovenia is actually super cheap. That was three euros for both of us to go out for coffee. And even though it's on the euro, so that what translates to about $4 Four Australian. Australian? Four bucks to go to a cafe. A really cool cafe. In Australia, it's like four fifty for one coffee. Also, we're going back there for lunch. That because was... they have vegetarian-like sandwiches with zucchini and eggplant and stuff for three euros. I just found something. I'm so sorry. This is a great show. <laughs> and the sound of music. I saw it out of the Oh, that's cool. What is it? Oh, I think it's, it's a, a music store. So you can like play, learn the music. All right, castle time. Let's do it. Okay guys, this is the last time I say this, but wow, this is such an underrated city. I hate to compare cities, but I think this is more beautiful than Vienna. Like just the way it's set up with these buildings, with the moat and the castle. It was very different to Vienna. Yeah. You know, this actually kind of reminds me of Amsterdam. Okay, we better do our exercise. Go on up to the castle. That's all they've heard about, this castle. <laughs> Look at the castle. Look how cool it is here. Wow. You know, it still hurts a little bit. But not that much Cause if you want somebody else Who am I to judge I've been thinking about you all the time But that's alright 
I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold When life gives you lemons, trade them for coffee P.S. Sorry Lemon, couldn't agree more Bobby, have we told everyone where we're going right now? Oh, the castle! <laughs> to the castle! <laughs> Guys, we just made it to Leblanc's... Leblancy? Ljubljana? Leblancy grad? I'm trying to pronounce it. Huh? Ljubljana Castle, but it's like Ljubljanski or something. How would oh, you pronounce yeah. it? Ljubljanski Grand. <laughs> but they're this very cute. This looks like... For Valentine's Day, Yeah. Probably. I think there's a nice viewpoint up there in the clock tower. This is 500 years old. I think. Up here. Don't look down, Bobby. Oh my gosh, what? <gasps> it's so tall. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Wow, what an incredible view. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's cool, you're actually standing on the top. I didn't expect that, because there's a lot of glass windows on the way in. Wow, then you can see into the castle. It's kind of a cool castle. Yeah. Really digging these cities we've visited, having like the castles and the keeps on these little mountains that looks over the town. You can see the water that we were walking along. Oh yeah, this so that's cool like the main bridge. I mean, that's the main area where the three bridges are and then the markets are just there. I know some of you are probably thinking like, why did we come up to the castle, pay the entrance fee when I flew the drone and got just like as incredible views. But I didn't come to travel to look at my drone screen. I came here to experience it myself. And to be honest, when you're actually this close up here, this is the best view of Ljubljana. Like you can really see everything. It's kind of cool how it has the orange rooftops like Croatia. And then you have like some snow just sprinkled on top of it. It's really nice. Also not so cold up here. I feel like being near the river really makes it cold. Like if you go to explore a city like Amsterdam in the winter, I'm sure oh it gosh, is so gosh. cold there. So the trail just ends through here and I suppose begins here depending on which way you walk. But we come out to Central Square and they've got some markets set up. They say it's like literally farm to table here. So every day the farmers come, bring all their produce, and then people buy them and just take them home. So it's very fresh and yeah. organic and all that jazz. Yeah, look at this. If you were to get your veggies from here, I mean, this is very cool. Wow, the apples look so amazing here. This stuff looks better than our supermarkets back home. I see, yeah, they just drive their van into the square, set this up, you just buy what you want. Okay, I think we found the coolest thing at this market. So we just found out that every morning the farmers come, bring fresh milk. Straight from the tea. Straight from the tea. There's like barrels in there. And then what you do is you buy a jar and then you fill it up with milk. We should get some. That is you so cool. You raw milk. You no, know, no, no, you need to go heat it up. Oh, you do? Yeah. So also right next to the milk, we found a vending machine full of like yogurt and juices and cheeses. So we're gonna go for some yogurt, berry yogurt. Trust us to get like excited over like a farm to table vending machine cool. when there's this insane marketplace just here. But yeah, but I don't feel like fruit right now. This is still very cool. Like the farmers have just pretty much just filled these up and Ready? they put them in here. That's kind of cool. It's like the farmers have just done this yeah. and then they set up this cool different way. It's cold yogurt. Oh, it smells good. Is it thick? Mmm. Mmm? Need some granola up in there? Oh my gosh, that is delicious. This is my lunch. I think this has got to be one of the coolest local markets we've been to just because there are actually no tourists here. Everyone's just coming to pick up their fresh produce for the week. Rather than going to the supermarkets, they just come here, which is really cool. Oh my gosh, look at the strawberry seed. Oh wow. So right next to the markets is the famous, <laughs> world-renowned Dragon Bridge from the 1900s. 
Ljubljana is actually known for their bridges. So right next to the Dragon Bridge is the Love Lock Bridge. Which is adjacent to the Triple Bridge. <laughs> yes, yes, across down there is the famous Triple Bridge, which is three bridges next to each other. So that's but a grand total of five lock. bridges. And here are our favorite bridges. This is called the Triple Bridge or the Three Bridge. And it's made up of three bridges. There's one here and then there's one over there and one over there. But I love it so much because it, it's not only beautiful, but it's also kind of in like the square of Ljubljana. So you've got really beautiful buildings. And that concludes the bridge tours of Ljubljana. <laughs> this is Jess regretting her choice of How having an- How same jacket every photo? Uh, welcome to my life. Cue my Instagram, boop, 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 boop. but it does look cute. Why aren't you wearing your bop 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 to the top hat? Okay. Guys, we're back. We had to come back to the Boutique Cafe. This time, hot what chocolate. What is that? The thickest hot chocolate in the world. We got to something super basic, wow. just toasted sandwiches, but it is so cold out there, we just want something warm. Show you a tea. I feel like I'm about to reveal something. Oh my god. This is so good, Steve. Bye, hotel. See you, Ljubljana. Bubs, it's the second last stop. This Aww. is going too quick. It has. Guys, this is cool. Get to live out our Harry Potter like yes, fantasy. It is. Look at this. We have a little cupboard, even with a door. I wasn't expecting this. Lush. Very lush. All right, two and a half hours, and we will be in Croatia. Yeah, we didn't get to go to Zagreb last time when we were on our yacht sailing tour. If you guys didn't see that series, I'll link it below. So I hope you enjoyed our Slovenia series. It was so much fun. So many bucket list items we checked off. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe because we'll start a brand new series in Croatia tomorrow. Bye. Bye, guys. The newspapers are calling it the beast from the east. Build as the beast from the east of beast from the east. Freezing weather front sweeping in from Russia this week. Deadly Siberian ice storm. Dream snow. Bring temperatures lower than the Arctic. <laughs> I'm